there's a face to those trenches so that you see over, you know, down to the 700 feet, presumably, of what would take you down to Castle Black or across to the north. The thing about Castle Black is it has a very distinct look. It has very distinct colours, very distinct sort of use of timbers. And so we add the type of timbers that are typical to Castle Black that will hopefully, you know, convince everybody that these timbers were hoisted up there by the Night's Watch. We've made um, some sort of barrel ramps. We've, we've obviously got pitch barrels and pitch pots. We've got brazes and flambeaux up there because when, when they get the arrows, they've got to put them into the fire and fire them. We've got a fantastic horn. We're going to snow it up and ice it up and weather it like it's been up there for a long time. It's probably maybe four or five feet, kind of height-wise and lengthwise, so it's quite a substantial horn. I don't know if anybody's tried blowing it yet, so I don't know what it'll sound like. The good thing about the top of the wall set is he's actually on a raised platform. I imagine so they can get a lot of low-angled shots.